need? Oh, Pyramus, my lover dear, thy Thisbe dear, and lady dear. No, no, you must play Pyramus and flute you Thisbe. Robin Starveling, the tailor. Here, Peter Quince. Robin Starveling, you must play Thisbe's mother. <laughs> Tom Snout, the tinker. Here, pretty prince, you, Thisbe's father, oh. myself, Pyramus's father, Snug, the joiner, you, the lion's part, and I hope here is a play fitted. Uh, have you the lion's part, Rin? Pray you, if it be, give it me, for I am slow study. You may do it extempore, for it is nothing but roaring. Let me play the lion, too. I will roar that I will do any man's heart good to hear me. I will roar that I will make the Duke say, let him roar again, let him roar again. And you should do it too terribly. You would frighten the Duchess and the ladies that they would shriek. And that were enough to hang us all. I grant you, friends, if you should fright the ladies out of their wits, they would have no more discretion but to hang us. But I will aggravate my voice so that I will roar you as gently as any sucking dove. I will roar you and twere any nightingale. <laughs> you can play no part but Pyramus. For Pyramus is a sweet faced man, a proper man as one shall see on a summer's day, a most lovely, gentlemanlike man. Therefore, you must needs play Pyramus. Well, I will undertake it. Masters, here are your parts. And I am to entreat you, request you, and desire you to calm them by tomorrow night and meet me in the palace wood a mile without the town by moonlight. There will we rehearse, for if we meet in the city, we shall be dogged with company, and our devices know. In the meantime, I will draw a bill of properties, such as our play wants. I pray you, fail me not. We will meet, and there we may rehearse most obscenely and courageously. Take pains, be perfect. Adieu. At the Duke's oak we meet. <laughs>